Okay guys, so we're gonna make our uh, template live and we're gonna just follow simple steps some simple steps. I'm gonna make it as easy as I can So two things we need to upload our template. The first one is we need a domain and also a hosting plan and also we need to have an FTP application I use the FileZilla server, so you can download download it for free. And you just type FileZilla server, and that's gonna allow allow us to upload our files to the hosting plan. So just click on download FileZilla server here, and it's free. And also, I have a domain with HostGator and a hosting plan. They have different options. They have the share plan, the hatchling plan, the baby plan. So you have to purchase a domain and also to purchase a hosting plan. So you can start uploading your templates. So first we are gonna create the FTP account and we can link it to our FileZilla. So we go here to this is the main page, the portal. I have my account, so this is uh, the main page, and I click on launch panel. After I go to FTP accounts, and I go to add FTP account. So I'm gonna just call it test. And domain, they, I have like two options. If you have three or four domains, so you will have more options here. I add a password, so I'm going to just make a simple password. This is a directory that is blur for um, to protect my personal information. And after I click on create FTP account. So it says account created test. And as you can see, it's here at the bottom in FTP accounts. So now I'll go to FileZilla. I have the icon, my bottom bar and I just go to the first icon here and click on new site. So the host, we have two options for the host. We can add in configure FTP client. We can take it from here, FTP server. Or when we go to our main screen, we have on the right side something called share IP address. So we can copy. So both will work. You can choose either. And for the user, we're just going to type test and the password that we created, right? So now we hit in connect. And it says there is an error. So we have to actually take the username for here. Sorry, I forgot um, this part is the FTP username. So let's go and paste it here. Again, the icon and we go and paste it here. And now we hit on connect. So as you can see, it's showing me this called FTP quota. And in the main page, we go to file manager. Now in the file manager on the left side, we have different type of folders, cPanel, um, and another, for example, I had another folders for different domains that I had before. So this is link. I created my FTP to be linked to this domain in particular. So I hit here plus, and you can see this is the name of the FTP account we created, right? Test. So in this folder, you can see the FTP quota, which is the one that is here. So everything that we put inside this um, part is going to be in this folder as well, as well. On the left side, I added the path where my HTML and CSS and the images are. Um, this is the, the path that I have. So this is the folder HTML CSS for beginners where I have um, all the files. So what I'm going to do is just drag and drop. So I'm going to just select with control and click. And I'm going to click this part because it's not part of our website. So I just drag and drop to the right side. And if it says directory listing of successful, that means is on the folder in HostGator. If it says there is an error, you have to check maybe the password or something that is not working right. So we go here 
and we can reload or just go to the folder and go back to test and you can see all the files are here right okay so we have to make sure that everything that we have it goes to the public html folder right? is actually the one that we're gonna place all the files so template will be live but what we do here is we select all except for this ftp quota let's do it again and we click on right click and move and we delete everything and we type public underscore html so we're gonna move all the files to this path so we click on move files and after we type our main domain can I just type it on the top and as you can see we have now live our website